Hey everybody, Smiling Banana here, and today uh, we're gonna do another video. I know it's been a while, but uh, I've been kind of busy. Finally, summer started. Actually, it's been like two weeks of summer. Um, but yeah, so in this video, we will be um, making some Lego Customs, sort of. Um, I have a bunch of Marvel, specifically MCU minifigures. Um, I'm gonna be upgrading. Um, yeah, I have a Cap and Icarus. Um, some Thors. Uh, I'm not going to give away too much, but I think, I think it's seven figures. So yeah, um, I'm going to cut to me showing you which figures we're doing. These are so the figs will be upgrading. Um, this video is actually pretty bad quality, so I might switch locations. Um, but we're going to start with um, Age of Ultron Cap. Then we have uh, Infinity War Bucky, Thor 11 Thunder Thor, and Jane Foster, Nova Corpse, Violet, and Icarus. So yeah, let's get started with the cap. Okay, so here is Age of Ultron Captain America. Um, yeah, I changed my setup a bit. There's a couple of base plates, and then this is the Hogwarts trunk set that Cap is standing on. It's just, I don't have a very good location for this video, because my usual location has some sets on it now, because I needed space. But for this figure, it's a very simple upgrade, and you just need to get the legs from Peggy Carter. Yep, here from the Marvel CMF series. So you're just gonna grab your cap and switch his legs out. I was gonna put the Peggy Carter arms on him, but I thought just the legs would be better so you could use the arms for like someone like Union Jack or something. Um, but yeah, uh, this figure, I do like it now a lot more. This is from the four plus set with the Hydra agent. Um, it looks a lot better now that it has these legs. Uh, next, we will do the two Thors in one, and then the Nova Corps. So, moving on to Thor. Okay, so here's Mighty Thor Jane Foster and Thor Odinson from uh, Thor Love and Thunder. Uh, for these upgrades, uh, it's just going to be the arms. Um, there is a hammer that Firestore, Firestar Toys is making um, for Jane where it's cracked. And I will make another video if I do get that. And another video to show off um, my custom Stormbreaker that I'm making right now. But for these figures, all you're gonna do is change the arms so that you're more detailed. Um, we'll start with Thor, so I'm gonna get Jane out of the way. For Thor, um, you're gonna grab the Wonder Woman arms. I can't get the other one in shot, but the Wonder Woman arms from um, the Justice League, Zack Snyder's Justice League, or um, the Wonder Woman movie sets. So you're just gonna grab Thor. Um, to take Lego arms off, you rotate them about 90 degrees, and then you can pop it off. I'll get these arms on. And then for Mighty Thor, we're also gonna have to change the arms. But we'll get to that in a second. So now Thor has the arm bracelets on Wonder Woman. They look a lot better because Thor does have like wrist guards on in the movie. So he can stand back there. I have his arms. I'm gonna put all of their original parts in the boxes so I don't lose them. And then for Mighty Thor here, I've removed the hammer for now. But you're gonna grab um, Wanda's arms, the dual molded ones from the Marvel CMF series and two um, tan hands. So you're gonna want to do the same thing with Thor and put the arm up about 90 degrees, then pop the arm off, then put the new arm on and do that and then show you guys what it looks like. So, there we go. So that's what she looks like now. And I'm gonna switch her hands out for the tan hands because in the movie, that's what she has, and you can see that in the trailers. And I, I love this figure a lot more now. This is still one of my favorite figures in my collection regardless, but I think it looks a lot better with the armbands now. I would change her cape, but I don't really have that many red capes, so. There's Thor, so them next to each other. It would look a lot better if I had my custom Stormbreaker here, but I'm still working on that, so. I won't be able to do that yet. I'm just moving Thor's arms um, out of my way so I can get the next figure ready. 
And now we're going on to the Nova Corps officer. Okay, so here's the Nova Corps officer. And I do have three of these figures. So I've already done my upgrades to one of them. Focus. But that's what it's gonna look like. And now I'm gonna do it to this one because... So in the movie, the main Nova officer, or the one that works with Star-Lord the most, is Corpsman Day. I completely forget who plays him. Um, but that's what I assume Lego is going for with this face print, with the chin strap, and then the other side. Uh, yeah, there. Um, but um, if you want to give him hair, I would suggest giving him Punisher's hair from uh, the Daily Bugle. But um, I'm not. I'm gonna keep them with their helmets on. I do have. I'm not sure where one of my helmets is gone, so I will have to find that so I can have three of the, these guys. But here is the original Corpsman Day minifigure. He has gray hands and plain blue legs. So we're gonna change those hands out for black ones, as you can see on the figure that I already have there. And since we can't have two Corpsman Day minifigures, I'm gonna change his head out in a minute. But then this is what he looks like so far. Now I'm gonna change his legs to uh, these legs come from the RoboCop minifigures from uh, the Lego Movie, so that's what he looks like now, just like that one. They're the exact same figure now. So now I'm gonna take his helmet off, and I'm switching this head out for a Rebel, um, a Rebel Trooper, or I think they use this for other Star Wars figures too, um, from Star Wars. So it all, so it gives me the chin strap as well. I'm gonna keep his more serious face on. I'm gonna take the helmet back now. And that's what he looks like. In a second. Once it focuses. Yeah, there we go. That's what he looks like. And as you can see. Oh, this is really hard. Okay, yeah, they have two different faces now, so they're kind of different. I like these figures a lot, so I might try and get more and kind of build an army like I'm doing with my Hydra agent. That will be a completely different video because it's a long story. But yeah, let's move on to Icarus now. Okay, so here's Icarus. Um, as you can see, he's a pretty bad figure. I mean, like, his torso and leg prints are amazing, but his face and his hair suck. Like, completely suck. They're the wrong color, the wrong... He doesn't have a stubble. So this is a very simple figure to make. Um, for the upgrades. Um, all I did was grab Bucky's head and hair from the Marvel CMF series. Looks just like this. And we're just gonna swap these out. You can get rid of this. This one's, I mean, well, it's good for parts, but it's also Cap's head and hair from one of the sets that he was in. Now, Icarus looks a whole lot better. Yeah, like this, I actually really like the Icarus figure now that I've done these upgrades. Like, but yeah, uh, I don't want to keep this video too long, so I'm going to switch to Infinity War Bucky now. Okay, so here's Infinity War Bucky. Um, now for this figure, you don't have to do much. It's an amazing figure. Come, it came in the Bricktober pack from 2018. But all I'm doing is grabbing the series black hair from Lego Harry Potter and swapping it out for hair that they use for Snape. That one. They use that one for Snape and the other Buckies, but in this movie, his hair is longer. Like that. It looks a lot better. I like this a lot. So, I'll keep him as that. All these figures are gonna stay intact. I might have to change Icarus's head. I'm probably gonna have to order uh, another part for Icarus, though, because I want that head and hair back on Bucky, but for now, this is fine. Um, but yeah, now I'm gonna bring all the figures back and just talk about them for a minute and then uh, Okay, so here's all the upgrades upgraded figures all together um, I did really enjoy doing this video um, If you'd like to see some more characters get upgrades because I do have plans on Upgrading my Shang-Chi minifigures at some point like all of them need upgrades um, What other figures could I upgrade? I'm not entirely sure actually um some of the Black Panther ones could definitely use some upgrades too, but this is mostly all blue figures as you can see. I didn't plan that. These are just the ones I picked that I think needed the upgrades the most. Um, I was going to do a bonus figure of Gore from Love and Thunder, but um, I'm still waiting for... I'm going to probably order a part for Gore to make him look even better. And yeah, 
Um, I think my favorite figures were Jane, Nova Corpse, uh, guys, Icarus, and Thor. Bucky and Cap were just upgrades that I needed to make anyway. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, the outro is not going to be in this segment. I'm going to put it in a separate thing. But you know, I'll leave any other figures down in the comments from Marvel or Harry Potter even that you think need some upgrades that I'll do in a future video. And um, my next video will probably be of me starting a new mock. Uh, mock stands for my own creation. Um, and I really enjoyed Thor Love and Thunder, especially the goat boat. Um, so I'm going to put my new minifigures on there. And yeah, um, I'm, like everything from that movie was great. So I think I want to make a mock of at least one scene from the movie. That I'm not going to say anything about yet because I don't want to spoil anything. So uh, yeah, cut to the outro. And yeah, I actually decided I'm going to show you guys my gore figure anyway. Um, I'm waiting for a hood for him, and, uh, well, I'm not waiting for it yet, I haven't actually ordered it, and I do have some white hoods from, like, Spider-Gwen and Taskmaster, but I don't want to take those from those figures, so, yeah, and then I will probably get a white cape, I'm not sure yet, though, but here's the gore figure so far, I just changed his arms to light gray to match his hands, still has the necro sword. And then the legs are just mummy legs, and I gave him a camo piece from LEGO Star Wars, probably the First Order Snow Troopers, as I think. That's what I think it's from. But now with Thor and Jane, like, these are three amazing figures. And I was going to upgrade Korg and Valkyrie, but, like, they don't need it. So, yeah, this is just a little bonus segment. So, um, yeah, now we get to cut to the outro. Thank you guys for watching me make these customs. Um, I think my favorite, or not customs, but um, upgrades. I think my favorite upgrade I did today was either the Jane Foster Thor or the Nova Corp Corpse op Officers. Um, uh, remember to always like, share, comment, subscribe, all that usually YouTube mumbo jumbo. And I'll catch you later, eh?